Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing my first ever 2021 car ever on my channel, and it's on the newest next gen that has been released, Rail Rush. Yeah, you may know, you may be smiling right now. How did I get this car? I got this car off eBay from a good seller, which you may know of, Gimme Collect, Gimme Collectibles. He's selling case B and also case C and some remnants of case A. So, um, you should check them all on eBay and go buy something from him. Because if you can't find anything in the stores, you may want to pick the 2021 cars up. And that's what I did. I bought myself a real brush and it arrived the same. It arrived today. And I was very excited for him. So in this video we'll be we'll be doing the review on him. We'll be talking about his release, which you guys may already know, and comparing him to the Cars 1 version of Vinyl Toupee. And I did not unbox I did not unbox it off camera. I unboxed it in a live stream on on Instagram. If you have if you do have Instagram, go follow me on Insta. You may see the upload of the of the um of me unboxing this guy in a live stream that I just did today, so go check it out. It was a pretty good, it was a pretty good live stream. Was really excited for it. So now let's get on to the to the appearance of Roll Rush. Roll Rush appeared um sometime around I think at the Florida 500, the Florida 500, and he was in the back. Like he was like the third to last place car because McQueen was in back of him and he was right next to the next gen next gen um Rev and Go Racer which hasn't been released yet, the next gen and he may be the second to last one to be released from Mattel because Jim Breverick is being planned to be released in two thousand um the same year as Real Rush. And that was 2021, but he will not be coming for like a few months. For like a few months. Sorry, don't see that over there. So he appeared in in just a couple of scenes. He didn't have a mic. He did not speak in the movie. He didn't have a minor role. Just a background. Really didn't speak at all. And now, and now let's get on to the releases of this guy. He has only been released in case B as a single. And and I was able to get him on, on eBay, as you guys may know. Um, so, so um, yeah, if you want to get your chances of finding a Roll Rush, you, you guys may want to check Walmart and Walmart and Target. But I know some places you guys don't have Walmart, don't have Targets. So, probably your second best shot is at Walmart. So, yeah, I just got this one on eBay. For like really for expensive price, but it's worth it actually. But now let's get on to the review of him. So he has just a minor happy expression on the camera. He looks blue, but if you if you're if you see this guy in actually in actual in real life, then he looks purple and metallic. But on here it looks blue. Which I do like on camera and also in person. You guys may want to check that out if you guys want a real rush. So yeah, he just has a minor expression. This vinyl toupee the logo looks awesome because it's representing the 1980s. And that's actually pretty cool. And he actually has like lines like the, like, you know, the Matrix, right? If you had not watched that movie, you may want to check it out. It's like the Matrix a little bit, like Matrix design. And on the bumper, he has a gold. It's actually gold. It's actually gold. And also the sides here too, which I do like. He has um, purple rims with the yellow trim, which are movie accurate. His contingency sponsors say the Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. Number 76, he has more of those lines going around it. The Matrix vibe. Vinyl Toupee in the back. 
no number on the top because this is representing a wig like it was in the Cars 1 version. This is representing a wig. Same thing on the other side. On the spoiler, you just have vinyl toupee. Hold up, let me flip it around. Vinyl toupee. Let me see if the camera can focus. Yeah, it's focusing a little bit. On the on the back, it shows yeah, there's there's vinyl toupee number seventy six and rookie stripes because those are required when you enter the pissing cup. And you need rookie shrapes. So on the base it shows he was produced in the 39th week of 2020. And he has a silver base. That's what Thailand does with their metallic cars nowadays. They just put put silver bases. So now let's compare it to the Cars 1 racer, Krusty Rotor. And um they look very different. They look different from each other because actually I want to say this you guys may already know is that the guy who designed the um the vinyl toupee sponsor he actually he actually said that um vinyl toupee was like a like a decade behind company so this is like representing the 1960s and then and then um um red rotages which I do not have so that's pretty unfortunate he he's like representing the 1950s or the 1970s and then this one is representing the 1980s and that's actually pretty cool so yeah it is no longer it's no longer that square shape that it has now it's like this 80s techno vibe um on the sides is more different now he has like more he has matrix look instead of the just simple one they had a paint spray and this and this um top right here this top right here um it has been carried over since cars one and then cars three and then the next gen so on the back they got rid of that slogan, which, what does it say? It says, she'll never know, she'll never notice. I actually do like that slogan, but unfortunately, it just didn't make it to the Cars 3 version. Which I'm kind of sad about, but at least the, the next-gen version looks more better than the previous two um, stock cars. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, Robrush does have a mustache or a grill. So, so that's it for the review. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you haven't done so already, go subscribe to my channel, which you're watching right now on my channel. And give this video a like and type in the comments, which is your favorite iteration of Vinyl Toupee? Is it the Cars 1? Is it the Cars 3 stock car, which is Rev Rodages or Real Rush? My favorite is Real Rush. He's in first place for me. Second goes to Krusty, third goes to Red Rodages. I just don't like his design. Kind of looks, ew, like disgusting. But anyways, um, thank you guys all for watching. Um, my next 2021 car review will be Track Damage Cruise. So expect to see that um, tomorrow or maybe, maybe on Christmas Day. And I hope you guys have a good Christmas or Hanukkah. Or or any other holidays that you celebrate. So um, thank you guys for watching. See you guys. Bye now. And thank you.